Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Riverbank Zoo and Garden. My name is Milo, and officially welcome to Z Learning. This is week 11 of Z Learning. It is crazy to think that we've been doing it for that long. Y'all have been amazing. Your support that you've been pouring in and tuning in live has been so neat to see. But of course, I have to give a shout out to some of our first tune in. Stevie, good morning. Austin, Savannah, Sarah. I also have to give a big shout out this morning. You might be noticing I'm wearing a new mask. I actually just got it this last Friday. A Z learning family who's been tuning in since the very beginning. Alexis, age 12, actually made this herself. I know it's backwards for you all on camera, but Z learning. Y'all did an amazing job. Good morning, Alexis and William. Thanks for tuning in this morning. And I will say tune in later this week because it's reversible and there's zebra stripes on the other side and I gotta show it off to all of you. But good morning, everybody. Jamie, nice to see y'all. Happy Monday morning. Today we are kind of behind the scenes, kind of on exhibit in a weird sort of way in a meerkat. Now I know those of you who tuned in on Friday, you heard that mention. Now I didn't get a teaser post out yesterday. So surprise, we are learning about meerkats today. Christina and Maxim, good morning. Nice to see y'all tuning in live. Now, today we're going to be doing meerkats a little different than we did before. I know those of you who've been tuning in since the beginning, we did the big thing of enrichment. Today we're joined by my friend Meredith, the zookeeper, yet again, one of our mammal keepers. She was with us in meerkat before, and today we're jumping on the scale. Not Meredith or I, it's not made for us. <laughs> Instead, the meerkats are getting weighed this morning. So we are going to be a part of that routine. And you might even hear some commotion behind us with all the construction for Rhino. So tune on in. Let's learn about meerkats this morning and start sending in those questions about what you want to know. But the whole party is right around the corner here. So let me turn around the camera and say good morning, good morning. to Meredith. Good morning. Nice to see you. Now, Meredith is joined. She has her hands full right now. She has snacks, the scale, the digital scale. But then let's pan down. The meerkats as well. One, two, three. We got everybody here. Now, to give you the lay of the land where we are right now, we are actually behind the meerkat habitat in this kind of dry moat area. It's very hidden. It's so that way we can have kind of the seamless barrier. That way y'all can get a great view of the meerkats. So right now we're still on exhibit. This is free access to them, but of course they prefer to spend their time where y'all can see them a bit better. And Meredith's jumping in for it. She is getting all those weights. She knows the difference between all three of our meerkats, between Jack, Quick, and Lily. And right now what she's doing is she's trying to kind of target them with all the different snacks. It looks like mealworms, if I'm not assuming incorrectly. It is mealworms. Oh, so delicious mealworms. In fact, let's go ahead and kind of take a peek into what Meredith has. Oh. Mealworms and some superworms. Oh, superworms too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they are really getting the snacks this morning. So we're going to kind of keep our distance from our meerkats. We are kind of hands off with meerkats, even though we can go in with them. I noticed some of you are asking, Erica just was wondering if y'all pet them at all. Um, we don't actually. Our meerkats much prefer their own personal space. They have a pretty big kind of personal space bubble, let's say. <laughs> And they also have extremely sharp teeth and very sharp claws as well. So we give them their space, but the meerkats know that when Meredith comes in with a container like that, that there is very special snacks. Now I have to give a shout out to Meredith because right now what she is doing is keeping track of who's getting on the scale individually at once. And then she's looking at the digital reader and she's actually going to memorize those numbers. So I'm not going to say any numbers so that way <laughs> she doesn't get confused and get them all mixed up since this is such a regular thing that we do. You are absolutely right, Jolyn. That is such a nice stress-free way for us to work with our meerkats. We're inside their habitat. This is a normal part of their routine. In fact, we even, I even came in with Z Learning today and they're doing their normal thing. We practiced with them last week and got them all familiar. But this is a normal thing for them to all do. Alexis, William, you're wondering what their names are. So the two brothers are named Jack and Quick. And then Lily is the third. She's the female. She's the little darker one that's furthest away from the camera right now. And Meredith can kind of introduce them a little bit more as far as who is who. Okay, so this is Quick right here who is just on the scale. So Quick is the one who's on the scale right now. So Jack's over to the left. And then Lily's over here on the right-hand side. 
Now I'll be honest, Meredith's a pro at telling all of the meerkats apart. <laughs> Me, I only know the boys from the girls. And that's not because the boys and, or males and females look different with meerkats. It's truly just because Lily, our female, just happens to be much darker. She has different genetics than the boys, so she kind of has a little bit darker of an appearance. But that's not necessarily normal from males to females. Keep sending. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can still hear and see us. Stevie, that is a great question. Where are these meerkats born? So all three of these individuals were actually born at an accredited zoo. We work together as a part of our cooperative breeding programs. So that way, eventually they came here and we don't necessarily have a breeding group. Instead, we have a social group between Lily, Jack, and Quick. But all three of these individuals are actually born at the same zoo in Wichita, Kansas. And they are all about the snacks this morning. They could care less about me with the camera. And honestly, you know, Meredith's just kind of there to dish out all the good snacks. It looks like we're running out though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Meredith, I have to ask then. So we yes. got all set up. Did you get a weight on everybody, all three? We did, in fact. Perfect, okay, so yes, we successfully got weights on all three. So we're gonna go ahead and pack up. If you're a meerkat, you get distracted really easily. And I don't know about you, but I don't love to get on the scale. And the meerkats did a pretty good job. I'm impressed. So we're actually going to follow Meredith out. We're going to follow the meerkats too. Let me go ahead and turn around this camera quick. Because we're actually going to follow them into the main part of the habitat. Because here in a second, Meredith is actually grabbing some special enrichment. Now I know last time we did a whole big ball pit for them. She has something a little different up her sleeves today. So all three of them actually just headed on into the habitat. Let's go ahead and turn around the camera. That way you can all see what everyone's up to. So this is an access area that they can kind of sneak back to if they want to get out of view or kind of explore around. But Meredith is coming right on out. We got two of them over here over our corner still. <laughs> I was going to say, they're looking for all the fun snacks now. But we're joined by a very special family. Check out those South Carolina Strong shirts that they're all wearing. They are here for Z learning today. But Meredith has tubs of enrichment that she just sent out. I see one, two meerkats. Where's our third meerkat? Oh, she is. Okay, good. I was just making sure she wasn't behind me. <laughs> so we have buckets with straw, it looks like. What else are we doing over here, Meredith? Let's get a little closer so we can hear you. Last little bit of mealworms. We're just throwing the last little bit in there so they can forage a little bit. Um, these guys naturally will dig in the sand to look for all sorts of insects and bugs of some sort and worms in the wild so it's pretty natural for them to be digging around <laughs> they are diving in, like, in the straw this is straw and rubber bowls and they love it how much That's fun okay there. so they are going for the the same sort of snacks <laughs> that they were just receiving look at those little heads pop up <laughs> so you could tell though when meredith came in she brought three different tubs that way they don't have to worry about sharing they can each have their own space mm -hmm. so we have lily right here in the middle that we're checking out right now and then we have our two brothers on either end, but yeah. check this out. This is Jack and Quick. Oh, this is Jack, Jack over here. Okay, perfect. So we're looking at Jack right now. Oh, quick little shout out. Erica, thank you so much for donating to Riverbanks. That is amazing. Your support makes all the difference. Thank you, thank you. Oh, somebody found all their worms. Yeah, he's like, mm, this is less exciting. Okay, so Meredith, I have to ask, since Absolutely. they're busy going through this, how are they finding those worms? Um, so they are really good at their sense of smell. They can smell them very well. They can also feel like little vibrations of worms crawling around their heads and things. It's like rustling the straw a little tiny bit so they can kind of hear it too. Um, they're just really well adapted to finding bugs in all sorts of places. So this is how they are built. They are naturally insectivores, which means they mm -hmm. would eat things like this actually out in the wild too, not just here at Riverbanks. So all of their senses are highly in tune to listen and check out all those different snacks. Another quick shout out, Jessica, thank you so much for donating. We're up to $30 already, just in the brief amount of time that we've been going live so far this morning with our meerkats. Now, meerkats are real fast animals. They are do everything pretty quick. And when it comes to their worms, they are very quick at finding them as well. Got to investigate all the bulls. I was gonna say, they had, it looks like they're swapping, checking each other's. Make sure nobody missed anything. Look at how much fun. Now, as you all know from tuning into Z Learning, enrichment is a part of our 
daily activities that we do with our animals. This is not just something special that we're doing here for Z learning today. This is a part of our normal routine to kind of entice those natural behaviors. We want them to explore, use their senses, just like they're doing right now, exploring <laughs> all around. <laughs> Those of you who are wondering what they're hunting for, Danica, they're actually hunting for worms or what was worms. I don't think there's any left right now. Yeah. I think they've eaten all of them. <laughs> but you know what? They were so delicious. They got a triple check to make sure they got every single last bite. Yeah, these guys are also known as opportunistic feeders. So what that means is if they find um, some like leftover carcass that maybe a lion had been on or something, they will sure. eat that as well, or little lizards or something that they'll find. Anything they can put in their mouth, they will eat it. So that's just what an opportunistic feeder is. Absolutely. That's such an interesting fact too. Mm -hmm. And opportunistic just means that they are going to take advantage of an opportunity. If it yep. presents itself, <laughs> there's an easy snack to eat. Well, they'll belly up and eat it. <laughs> Absolutely. <will. laughs> Look at all that straw. This is too much fun. Okay, now I have to ask Meredith. Mm -hmm. Do they have a favorite type of enrichment that they receive? Um, anything that they can eat is their favorite. <laughs> um, <laughs> they will sometimes actually get cockroaches that um, we have here at the zoo as a feeding option. Um, I'm not 100% sure what type of cockroach, but it's not the ones you'd find in your house. Um, <laughs> but they so not those get, big palmetto bugs. Yes, exactly. But cockroaches, they love to eat the cockroaches. Yep, they will just scarf those down. Um, they'll forage for them. Sometimes the cockroach will start digging in the sand and they'll have to dig after them to find them. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is getting kind of close to the camera, so I decided to give you all a closer view. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like they are very food motivated critters. So we're gonna let them continue to kind of explore around for their snacks. Let's go ahead, turn around the camera though. Big thank you to Meredith, of course. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> and everybody who tuned in live this morning, we are here in our meerkat habitat. I'm trying to watch my step, make sure I don't find any meerkats close by. Cause we're gonna let them continue to do their thing in their habitat. All your questions that you sent in that we missed, I'm gonna jump on the comments here in a little bit and start to answer all of them once we wrap up here live for Z Learning. But I wanted to give a shout out for tomorrow. If you have an appetite like a meerkat, join us tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock a.m. as normal, because we're gonna check out our veggie garden here at Riverbanks and see what might end up on our plates instead. No cockroaches involved, I promise. So we will see you all tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And thank you all so much for tuning in live this morning for Z Learning.